Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day, showing you everything that I eat in a day. And today I'm really trying to get back on track. I was away for about eight or nine days, hence my cat losing her mind. We're still paying the price for going on vacation. Uh, it's a cat, not a baby, but uh, trying to get back on track. There's no like uh, punishment for being away and eating uh, like crap for nine days, but oh my goodness. You look so rude. I'll sit with you in a minute. Oh my goodness. Just trying to get back on track essentially and trying to incorporate more fruits and vegetables uh, as always is kind of the goal. So it is now 12, 13. I actually went to the gym today for the first time, Rue since February so I'm feeling a little bit haggard and I'm trying something a little bit new I can't remember where I had it but having some smoked salmon for lunch and they made some Greek yogurt bagels so I'll show you uh, right now how, how I made the Greek yogurt bagels oh my god and uh, I will list the recipe down below essentially it's equal parts uh, Greek yogurt and oh my god get off the counter Greek Greek yogurt and flour this is a horrible start I'll show you how I did it So here are the finished kind of bagels. I actually baked them into more biscuits, I guess, today. I just didn't feel like forming them into bagels. I'm gonna toast them because I can find, I find sometimes the inside can be a little bit soft. After they dry out a little bit, it's better. Um, but a very, very simple recipe. And I can't find like good bagel thins here in Canada. If you have a recommendation for me, let me know. The only ones I've found are a brand called Odo's and they are gluten-free, which I am not, and they were horrible. So <laughs> yeah, so I made, these are 125 calories each. So I'm gonna have two of them and I'm gonna toast them just to get the inside a little bit crispy And then I'm using this sockeye wild sockeye salmon. I bought this at Metro Like I said, I tried smoked salmon recently It's never something that I was super into but I thought I would give it a go And then I just have some light cream cheese and cut up cucumber here as well to have so I think it's gonna be good I'm not like a huge fan of smoked salmon yet, but I think I'm gonna get there and it's just kind of an easy way to get some protein in a little bit higher in sodium but that's nothing I'm super concerned about so I'm just gonna toast those bagels so here's the finished product I actually cut down on the amount of smoked salmon I'm kind of intimidated by it like I like it but I still need my bagel to salmon ratio to be much more bagel focused so uh, this is lunch it's a pretty light lunch considering I just had a workout as well so I might have a bit of a bigger snack later but I kind of had this in my mind to try it out Rue please so this is what's gonna be for lunch today. And I'm gonna have a water with that as well. I did have an espresso with a splash of almond milk. I can't remember if I mentioned this in another video or not, but I did have a question because somebody said, um, you can't really have almond milk when you're fasting. And yes, it kind of depends what you're doing. Like for me, five, 10 calories of almond milk is not gonna make or break it for me. I'm not doing like intermittent fasting in the sense that I'm, like really trying to like empty out my stomach and do it for the gut health. I'm trying to just reduce my calories. So that's why I don't eat till 12, but I'm not cutting out the almond milk from my coffee. So just do um, whatever works for you. I saw on Twitter and my friend sent it to me too. It was like, it's so millennial to like skip breakfast and call it intermittent fasting. And that's hundred percent what I'm doing. And I'm okay to admit that. So anyways, I'm gonna have lunch uh, and I will check back with you for a snack probably shortly. didn't work out at all I mean I should have known better looking at the recipe I was like I don't see how this is even remotely possible and I didn't check the comment section on Pinterest I honestly didn't know it existed until just then it's mostly egg white and yogurt like um, I'll show you a picture of what they're supposed to look like 
I just wanted like a sweet treat and a cup of tea and the photo that they had on Pinterest is obviously not the actual recipe. I'm just kind of like in the mood to refresh things, getting really bored with everything that I was eating. So that's why I'm like kind of cooking so much today and I don't have like a ton of work to do. So I'm kind of trying to experiment with some new recipes like the smoked salmon, uh, which I liked that lunch, but I had a little trouble fully getting through the smoked salmon. I'm kind of like, Ugh. like it's good, but I don't know. Anyways, this was a fail. So now, I should have fruit as a sweet treat, but I really wanted like a muffiny cookie with a cup of tea style snack. I don't know what that's gonna be now because I really don't have much. So against all of my desires, I'm gonna have some mangoes and blueberries. I actually really do love this combination and have been eating a lot lately. I just want a cookie, chocolatey type of product. I could have like a handful of chocolate chips, but I'm gonna try and fight it off for now. Have this, this is actually, um, these are newer mangoes to me. I only discovered them when I moved to Toronto. They're probably like no news to anybody. What are they called? Alf Alfonso mangoes or Alfuso or something like that. And I find them really sweet, especially in Canada. The fruit is absolute trash sometimes. So I find these to be a little bit sweeter, a little bit less fibrous than the red mangoes sometimes. So this is what I'm going to have as a snack for the time being. And uh, we'll see what happens. I think I could actually remake those bagels that I made this morning and put chocolate chips and strawberries in those and make it almost like a scone. And I think that would be really good. But I'm now out of freaking Greek yogurt. I used like uh, oh, like half a bottle of Greek yogurt on that frickin on these like basically baked egg whites what a like this is illegal it's like clickbait of Pinterest anyways I'm gonna have this fruit and enjoy it wish it was a cookie but so be it I'm back with a second lunch I guess we'll call it <laughs> it seems like I shouldn't call this a snack it doesn't really matter what I call it but it's just a mini sandwich so I have the bagel that I made this morning bagel plus a little bit of this extra lean cooked ham just two slices of that half a slice of this old cheddar cheese some mayo and mustard it's very much like an old school like sandwich you'd get for lunch with a little bit of iceberg I freaking love iceberg it has no nutritional value but it's like a junk food lettuce if that makes sense we're still complaining uh, when i was in italy i was drinking a ton of lemon soda which was full of sugar fresca is zero zero sugar and so good really kind of reminds me of that so i'm back on my fresca game and then on the side i was playing with fire and ordered a bunch of mini bags of chips with walmart grocery delivery so gonna have some of these lays poppables this bag is about uh, 90 calories so i'm just i don't know if it's because i worked out this morning or i haven't eaten enough or it's a smoked salmon but not feeling great and this is kind of a comforting little lunch brew we're sick of it okay we've we've had enough so anyways i'm gonna have this as a big snack slash second lunch so my salty carby day continues sometimes you just got to give in and my philosophy is you can always do better but also think about where you started and how far you've come um, because people are very critical of what I eat in a day videos you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you had too much sodium you had too many carbs and this is just an example of one day not that my other days are particularly better than this but like i've lost 25 pounds i'm so happy with where i'm at and there's always room for uh there's always room for improvement but at the same time i need to think about how far i've come and i know that's a stupid preamble for ritz crackers and peanut butter but it's just really true People are so hard on themselves, they do extremes, and then they uh, fail, and then they feel like they can't do it. So it's like, if I need to have some Ritz crackers and peanut butter to get me through the day, and that's gonna keep me on track, I'm still under my calories and stuff, then so be it, right? Like, it's, it's not a big deal. People are just, they're terrified. You know, they wanna cut carbs, they wanna cut fat, or they wanna do this, do that. But portion control, moderation, balance, that's what I've done, and that's what I've had success with. So. I'm having Ritz crackers. They couldn't be any more delicious. I'm not even that much of a peanut butter person. I could have PB2, but it's just not as good when it comes to this kind of thing. Uh, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm okay to have a little bit more fat today anyway. So probably gonna go over my allotted carbs. I use my fitness pal, but I don't play, uh, pay like super close attention to that. So I'm just having this Adam's natural peanut butter. It's just peanuts and salt maybe. Yeah, peanuts and salt. Make sure you weigh your peanut butter though if you are trying to do portion control because this is almost 100 calories of peanut butter here. 
it can go really out of control or you can use the pb2 i find that pb2 is really good for sauces for smoothies but when it comes to something like this you can't beat real peanut butter so that's why i'm going this route but there is a lighter option if you wanted to um to go that route it's like a powdered peanut butter so this is going to be my little late evening snack here Hey guys, so I'm feeling um, and looking kind of haggard. I think it's a combination of jet lag, like tracking my calories for the first time in probably two weeks. I'm feeling like I miss eating everything I wanted to. I ate a lot of Pringles in the past few weeks. And then also just going to the gym for the first time in like four months. So a lot of things have happened and my body is not so pleased. So I was gonna make a peppermint tea, but it's a really beautiful hot day. So I'm kind of craving like a juice, something kind of tropical. So I'm gonna make a smoothie, but I like to make my smoothies when like I'm not trying to fill up or anything I gotta focus um when I'm not trying to like fill up and make it like a meal replacement I like to make it kind of liquidy but I don't want to make like a juice I don't have a juicer anyways because I want to get the actual fiber when you juice fruits and vegetables you're kind of left or fruits anyways you're kind of left with like a sugar water essentially not that there's anything wrong with that but that's kind of my goal here is to get some fiber in as well so I'm going to do uh spinach I'm going to do pineapple I've got like a fruit blend mix and then I might actually add in a little bit of protein because I was planning on having like meat with my dinner tonight but I'm kind of not feeling it anymore so I think I'm gonna add in some protein powder which is something I normally don't do especially when I want something to be like a light summery juice protein powder is not the way to go but because I want to get in a little bit more protein because I haven't had that much today all I had was like the ham and the smoked salmon it's been kind of a low protein day and I did work out and I don't track my macros like to a T. I don't don't have like specific goals there's some listed in my fitness pal but I just kind of try to be mindful and protein is a big part of what fills you up and I have eaten just kind of a lot of carbs today so I'm gonna put in probably half a scoop of protein but uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna have right now Okay, so here is dinner. Sorry to deceive my uh, Canadian subscribers, but I am having the <laughs> Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. I bought this, uh, Buffalo is very close to here, so I bought this a little while back. I see a lot of videos that say they eat the whole bag. I've tried to eat the whole bag the first time I tried it. I found it to be too much, so I'm having half a bag. And as I also saw in other videos, not to follow the actual instructions, just cook it in a pan. I just fried it with some like spray oil and then added a little water at the end covered it kind of is like something you need to learn on your own stove and then just fried it off and then in here i have also mushrooms and peas i was going to put in turkey sausage but i decided to skip it some parmesan cheese like under five grams so not much at all this bertoli garlic alfredo it's not particularly light but the rest of the meal is light so that's fine and then i also fried some sage it's better when you fry it in butter but again i just did it in spray oil i love fried sage i think it is so freaking good and then just tons of pepper salt and chili peppers and then um to end the night i thought i might have something a little bit different but because of these failed things that are still sitting on the countertop here i really want some chocolate so i'm going to end it with two two little mini kit kats i can't get off my kit kat kick i know my buddy in the days always end with that but that's truly what i'm loving so uh <laughs> have you tried keto no i have not tried keto and i will not try keto get out of here this is not keto have you tried the all kit kat diet <laughs> i've come close to trying the all kit kat diet <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't recommend that either. Anyways, I am going to end the evening here. It's been a little bit of a rough day, but I'm glad that I stayed on track in terms of calories and whatnot. Oh, and I only drank half of that smoothie. It was just way, 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 way too big. But I'm really excited for this dinner. I made it a little while back. And like I said, if you do want to add some protein to it, you could always do a turkey sausage or like a veggie alternative. But I really like it with just the vegetables. I find mushrooms to be like kind of... <laughs> To burn your hand. Uh, yeah. Mushrooms to be like quite meaty. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.